Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The proliferation of low RCS drone or remotely piloted aircrafts or unmanned aerial vehicle has enhanced the aerial threat by many fold. They may be employed individually or as a swarm as a cheaper and flexible option to target the adversary's assets. These threats can be countered by utilizing multi-sensor and multi-kill option integrated into cohesive system with suitable mobility. So in the lights of the same, the Ministry of Defense has released an RFP to procure nine integrated drone detection and interdiction system, which is called IDD and IS under by Indian category. The system is being procured for Indian Army and the delivery of equipment will be completed within one year from the date of signing of the contract. The proposed system will be deployed independently or in conjunction with in-service air defense weapon system in all types of terrain such as plain, desert and high altitude. Now talking about this system feature, it will consist of surveillance and detection system, tracking system, interdiction systems and control station. The surveillance and detection system should be based on radar and passive RF detection system. It will have an EOFCS target tracking system which will be based on EO and thermal imaging site with tracking facility. It should be able to be queued by radar or a passive RF detection system towards the direction of detected target. It should be able to lay on the target and provide tracking data to control station for engagement. The surveillance and detection system will be able to detect 0.1 square meter of RCS target from 10 kilometers and 0.01 square meter of target from 8 kilometers. The minimum detection altitude is 3 kilometer. For EOFCS system, the detection range is 8 km for a target of size 1.6 meter by 0.3 meter and 6 km for target of size 0.3 meters by 0.3 meter. So based on the inputs available from passive detection and analysis of transmission parameters, the jamming system should be able to provide suitable solution for jamming of the drones. The jammer should be able to generate high power RF with suitable parameters to jam and degrade the drone up to a range of not less than 5 km using directional antenna. This is also known as soft kill measure. Now talking about the hard kill measure which will be based on the laser. The laser weapon system should be able to achieve target information from control station and get queued on to the target. It should be able to engage designated targets up to a range not less than 2 km during operation. The system should have option for integration with existing gun and missile system of army air defense system to exchange target data to initiate allow engagement of target using suitable interfacing device. So this requirement of army is very similar to DRDO's anti-drone system which is called D4S that is drone detect deter and destroy system but the range requirement is slightly more not slightly but significantly more the defense psu bel is the production partner for d4 system back in september 2021 the tri services had signed contract for acquiring the dido based anti drone system in april 2022 the technology of anti drone system has been transferred to adani defense system larson and tubro as well as Astra Microwave. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.